Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting remotely. The cabinet commended His Majesty the King's royal directive to ensure vaccinating Bahraini citizens residing abroad in line with national efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to ensure citizens receive the best services locally and globally. In this regard, the cabinet was briefed on the report submitted by the Minister of Health on efforts to combat the COVID-19 as well as medical facilities and devices provided to secure the best health and treatment services for all. The cabinet assigned the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to coordinate with the countries in which citizens reside abroad and to obtain the necessary approval according to the relevant domestic regulations to ensure that His Majesty the King's royal directives are implemented. The cabinet noted the positive response displayed by the kingdom's community and their vigilance and responsibility in following all precautionary measures that have been announced by the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus, adding that this has yielded positive on epidemiological data, limiting the spread of the COVID-19 and flattening the curve of infection. The cabinet further noted the responsibility to continue to follow all precautionary measures and that vaccinating targeted segments of the society will enhance immunity of the community and support national efforts to combat the virus. The cabinet affirmed the kingdom's continued efforts and contributions to international efforts against COVID-19 by the establishment of domestic manufacturing capacity for the production and distribution of vaccines in Bahrain in cooperation with the Russian Federation. In this regard, the cabinet extended his gratitude and appreciation to Russia for its support and collaboration. The Cabinet approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft law approving the accession of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations Convention and International Settlement Agreements resulting from mediation. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft resolution regulating financial aspects involving parties outside the local domain in line with the international agreements signed by the Kingdom of Bahrain in this respect and a Memorandum of Understanding by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs regarding the projects and programs within the Government Action Plan 2019-2022, of which 78% have been implemented by the Electricity and Water Authority. The Memorandum also included the Authority's plans and future projects, including the second phase of the Dur plant for the production of electricity and water, which will meet the Kingdom's energy requirements for housing development and investment projects until 2027. In addition to six projects to establish electricity generating stations and four projects to establish and develop electricity and water transmission networks. The memorandum also detailed the achievements of the new billing system for the authority, which was launched in December of 2020, and the authority's preparation for the summer during the expected surge in demand for energy. The cabinet then reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance regarding the Kingdom of Bahrain's contribution to a number of international organizations in a way that supports and enhances the Kingdom's expertise in various fields, including supporting environmental strategies and developing training programs. And a memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's responses to eight proposals and a law proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzi ibn Abdullah Zainal, praised His Majesty the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to start vaccinating Bahrainis residing abroad against the novel coronavirus pandemic. The Speaker asserted that the sound royal directives are part of His Majesty the King's keenness to ensure the safety and health of all. She added that they also reflect the Kingdom's interest in following up on the affairs of its citizens wherever they are in line with the unwavering efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the close follow-up of Team Bahrain. The speaker underlined Bahrain's uh, continuous efforts to provide care for its citizens and residents, improving the health and medical services, and ensuring full compliance with precautionary measures, affirming the Representative Council's full support for the efforts of the government and Team Bahrain to implement the royal directives.
The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh praised His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to start vaccinating Bahrainis residing abroad against the novel coronavirus pandemic. He asserted that the sound royal directives are part of His Majesty the King's keenness to ensure the safety and health of all. He added that they also reflect the Kingdom's interest in following up on the affairs of its citizens wherever they are, in line with the unwavering efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa as well as the close follow-up of Team Bahrain. The chairman underlined Bahrain's continuous efforts to provide care for its citizens and residents, improve the health and medical services, and ensure full compliance with precautionary measures, affirming the Representative Council's full support for the efforts of the government and Team Bahrain to implement the royal directives. Bahrain Institute for Political Development organized a lecture entitled National Sovereignty and Human Rights and the Role of the National Institution in the Protection and Promotion of These Rights as part of the third edition of the Political Awareness Program. Member of the Council of Commissioners at the National Institute for Human Rights, Dr. Malala Al-Hamadi, affirmed that the institution is one of the results of the reform project of His Majesty the King, which is based on the principle of democracy, the rule of law, respect, and the promotion and protection of human rights for all without exception or discrimination. He noted that the legislative system in the kingdom is highly advanced in its adoption of international and regional human rights standards, which earned it the, pra the praise of the United Nations Treaty Bodies and the Arab Human Rights Committee. Within the framework of efforts to achieve public safety and as part of the national efforts to combat the repercussions of the pandemic and achieve the security and safety of all citizens and residents, the police, directorates and relevant security departments stress the need to adhere to precautionary and preventative measures and to the instructions issued by the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus to contribute to reducing the number of infections. They affirm the importance of the role of all society members in following the instructions issued to prevent the spread of the coronavirus by staying at home and going out to meet necessary needs in addition to avoiding family gatherings and it is one of the most important causes for the spread of the virus and the increase in the number of active cases. The Central Bank of Bahrain affirmed that during the last period it ensured the compliance and readiness of the systems and procedures related to the payment of workers' wages electronically in order to facilitate the process of opening bank accounts or prepaid cards or creating electronic wallets for all workers so that workers' wages are transferred to these accounts at the time the wages are due. The system includes the majority of retail banks in addition to payment services provided, which are 26 banks and five companies. The system aims to improve oversight over employers and verify any violations that harm the interests of workers. The system helps in the process of economic development and financial inclusion in addition to providing financial services to all segments of the society at the lowest cost and the latest technology. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,002,977 had taken the latest dose of the vaccine, while 823,489 had taken the second. The Minister renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 21,589 with 3,211 recoveries, 1,496 registered new cases and 28 deaths. 668 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 827 are contacts of active cases and one is travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. Food trucks businesses are booming in Bahrain while following the precautionary measures and preventative measures at the same time. More in this report. The world is currently struggling with an unprecedented surge of COVID-19 cases. Last week, the Kingdom of Bahrain called for a 14-day lockdown, closing shopping malls, stores, restaurants and coffee shops. 
But amid the new measures, the number of food trucks has increased in the food truck district of the capital Manama. The decorated and illuminated carts serve fast food for people who are out and about during the summer nights. I think the idea for the food truck is actually really great, especially during this pandemic, because, you know, like right now with the new restriction, you can't really go to the restaurant, especially you also doesn't have any vaccine or nothing, right? So any people who only has like one dose or not vaccinated yet, yet and then also like my son, they're not vaccinated yet, they can come here without any, you know, uh, any restrictions. The new restrictions were part of efforts to contain the spread of the coronavirus. During the first quarter of 2021, Manama's food truck district attracted more than 160,000 visitors. The hub hosts more than 50 food trucks.